Torpedoes in Avorian are a separate weapon system to your other weapon slots like rail guns and cannons and all the rest of it. They require blocks to work. So there are two blocks that are main, that are that are required, that are mandatory basically, to run torpedoes. You need a torpedo storage block and you need a torpedo launcher block. Uh, the torpedo storage block is dependent on the material size and really the block size, how big you make them. Uh, the bigger the block, the better basically when it comes to storages because the way torpedoes are housed is based on the torpedo size. So if you pick up 10 torpedoes, it's not going to take up 10 slots within your storage capacity because torpedoes, torpedo sizes vary just like weapon slots vary. So some cannons might take up four slots or two slots. So uh, torpedoes follow that same rule as well. Launches, uh, the size of the block also de depends um, on how many torpedoes you house within the launcher. Uh, the bigger the launcher, the better. So that I believe when you go into battle that you don't have to reload halfway through because it's a manual process reloading torpedoes once everything's been fired out of the launcher. So in, in Avorian, uh, this is uh, when we jump into a ship menu, this is where you manually load torpedoes into your torpedo launcher. So as you can see, the bigger the launcher, the better. Um, that way you can house a lot more firepower when it comes to a battle. You don't know how long that battle can go on for. So this is a manual process that you have to do. You can hover your mouse over the, each torpedo and select one, two or three corresponding torpedo tube and that's a fast way of loading torpedoes into your torpedo tube. Or you can drag and drop them into the torpedo tube. So this is where you can break up your torpedoes. So I suggest you do that so you, you've got shield busters and hull buster torpedoes separated so that you can take down shields and bust through them. And then you just assign torpedo launchers like you would any other weapon slot. So you, this is where you break up your torpedo launchers again so that you can assign which ones are going to get fired. And then you just click right click and you fire your torpedoes. So this is getting into the harder torpedoes now. So there are 10 different types of torpedoes. These are basically the warheads that sit on the torpedo. All torpedo bodies achieve maximum velocity after 10 kilometers. So this is something you might want to um, keep in the back of your mind when you're in combat. Uh, once you get past that 10 kilometer range, uh, th that's when I think torpedoes really work well for, pe for you. So we have tandem warhead torpedoes, uh, damages both shield and hull for high total damage. You've got kinetic torpedoes, deals uh, uh, doubles the torpedo's maximum speed, hull damage dependent on velocity. So this one's a little bit different, the kinetic one. So kinetic torpedoes achieve maximum damage after 40 kilometers. So the closer the target is, the less damage you will do with kinetic. The further away the target is from you, the more or maximum damage you will get from that torpedo. So with kinetic, keep in mind, further away the target is, the more damage you're going to do with that torpedo. The closer it is, the less damage you're going to get because it's dependent on velocity. You got your ion torpedo, which drains target's energy. Sabo, Sabo, I think that's the French pronunciation for that word. <laughs> Penetrates shields. EMP briefly deactivates shields. You got your antimatter torpedo, requires energy to be stored. I don't like antimatter torpedoes because they do take up a lot of energy. So, yeah, just be mindful that you do have uh, um, your, a lot of generators within your ship to, to be able to house antimatter torpedoes. Then you got your nuclear, plasma, neutron, and fusion torpedoes. So, those are the 10 types of warheads that you have within the game. On top of that, you have nine torpedo body types. So you have your warhead. Now we're talking about the body types within Avorian. So torpedoes, there's nine different types there. Different maneuverability, speed, acceleration, range, and sizes as well. So this is the housing side. 
so say talking about kinetic torpedoes so you'd probably be looking for a body type that sort of goes along with that type of torpedo like a hawk torpedo see the maneuverability is 0.8 but what we're really looking at is the speed maximum speed of 5500 acceleration massive acceleration 1530 13 range 48 plus so you can engage with the enemy further out now the size is five so it does take up five slots within your um, storage your torpedo storage but you're getting bang for your buck so you've got a fast torpedo um, it's going to meet it's going to meet its target really quickly and it's uh, probably going to do a lot of damage so keep that in mind so if you're looking for a more maneuverable body type torpedo then there is the different types there like the hammerhead stingray panther eagle and all the rest of it or the orca oh well, that's it's really low, low range of torpedo bodies but yeah if you're struggling with um trying to tag a pirate that's quite maneuverable then you want to be looking at the body type and the maximum maneuverability on a torpedo is 0.8 so yeah, it's quite interesting actually. I like I like that I like that they've added that into the game as well. A little bit more complexity. So with all that we've talked about in the video, we might just break down an example so that we can sort of apply what we've learned. So take the body type um, on this Orca class plasma torpedo that I've got down here as an example. So as the of underlined Orca class. So as we can see, that's the body type of this torpedo. And the plasma torpedo is obviously the warhead so it's just a basic plasma warhead there's nothing special about it a very vanilla type torpedo here um, and also we have um, so the maneuverability speed and range all match up to the chart that we have on the different body types the 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 durability increases with the rarity so the durability on this torpedo is 11 so that's the health of the torpedo so um, the higher the rarity um, so it goes common and uncommon I think it is just off the top of my head I think it goes plus 9 um, health so it'd be 20 and then wherever it's found in the system will be another add-on to health and durability so uh, the rarer the torpedo the better the durability the better it is it's going to cut through um, uh, defenses like point defenses because that's what takes down torpedoes um, so you can see the size of the torpedo it says two and on the body at the top of orca it says one i haven't made a mistake i just didn't put the size in for the warheads so warheads have a size as well as the body as the body size as well so the body size for this is one and the warhead size is one as well so that makes it a total of two so yeah it's pretty cool when you really break down a torpedo or what goes into it and um, yeah hopefully it makes it easier for you to read uh, when uh, uh, different torpedo types and and the durability and you'll know what sort of warhead you're looking at and hopefully the different um, yeah oh, it's all pretty cool it's all there for you to um, next time you pull up to an equipment dock and start loading up and hopefully you have this information at the back of your mind so in conclusion to this uh, very brief video on torpedoes uh, torpedoes can only be attained by equipment docks so you can't pick torpedoes up in the game off enemies or anything like that you can't make them you have to go to an equipment dock and buy them so it's best that you do have big uh, torpedo storage blocks so you can house them house a lot of them at this at a time if you can afford them they are quite expensive <laughs> torpedoes have a health pool if you didn't know that um, and can be hit by point defense weapons so that's the counter to torpedoes is point defense weapons so when using torpedoes you want to be looking for weak targets or targets uh, that are away from the group and are not surrounded by anti um, torpedo or have point defense weapons on on pirate ships and stuff like that so look for vulnerable targets to use your torpedoes against torpedoes come in 10 different warheads um, torpedoes come in nine different body types torpedo durability increases with the rarity 
So the rarity um, dictates the durability or the life of the torpedo. Um, nearly, nearly missed torpedoes will still detonate and deal half the damage. So I just put that in there for why not. <laughs> so yeah, um, I really hope you enjoyed the video and you got something out of it. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I will see you in the galaxy. Alright, see ya. Bye.